Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to upgrade your Second Life performance, making it faster and smoother. In the first part, I'll be giving my recommendations for your tech spec, and secondly, we'll look at some graphics tips in the Firestorm Viewer to give you the best experience with least performance impact. Up until a while ago, I was running Second Life on my 27-inch iMac. My iMac and MacBook Pro are suitable for the production work that I do in real life, but in Second Life, the lagginess and slow performance has been a real struggle. I wanted to be in the Ultra Club, so I treated myself to an early Christmas present and bought a higher spec gaming PC with a 28-inch 4K monitor, and guys, the difference has been been insane. My graphics are now razor sharp and I don't have to waste time waiting around for things to res. It also means that I can stream, record and edit with Second Life running without my machine sounding like it's going to explode. Whether you consider Second Life a game or not, there's no denying that you'll need to treat it as a game in terms of the spec if you want it to run faster. FPS or frames per second is one of the key performance indicators that you'll want to measure. In Firestorm, the FPS is always displayed in the top right corner and this will fluctuate greatly depending on your computer spec, internet speed, how busy the sim is and how many scripts are running. So I'm going to help you with understanding what can give you a better frame rate in Second Life. If you're already into gaming, then you'll probably know the importance of having a good graphics card, also known as GPU. Second Life doesn't have the same demand for GPU as other modern games, but it's going to make a huge difference. With graphics, some people recommend Nvidia models, others recommend AMD. I personally have an AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT, which provides superb gaming performance. However, if you're not going to be doing a ton of other gaming, my advice here is to get a mid-level graphics card, which is usually enough for Second Life. In addition to that, Second Life is heavily reliant on CPU power. How many frames you can get per second depends on your CPU and more specifically the per-core performance. The performance of each core is important because not all programs and games simply run faster by using more cores. Some things are going to be limited by the performance of just one core. So even if you buy an expensive multi-core CPU with overall better performance, if the per-core performance isn't as high, then you may still get less frames per second. If if you're interested in comparison of CPUs, I'd recommend checking out CPUbenchmark.net. Or if you're just interested in what I'm using, I have the AMD Ryzen 3700X 8-core. For RAM in Second Life, you'll need at least 8GB. I have 16 gigs, but as I mentioned, that's because I have other things running at the same time. But make sure that you get an SSD as it will make everything faster for Windows and other applications that are running outside of Second Life. I usually have Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Discord, Google Chrome all open at the same time. Now, if you don't have the budget right now to upgrade your computer, don't feel any pressure. There are plenty of adjustments that you can make in your graphics settings. In Second Life, there are a lot of poorly optimized textures, contents, and avatars which which contributes to huge lag depending on where you are. The first thing you'll want to do is go to Preferences, Graphics, and reduce your graphics quality. Aim for high, but otherwise go down to mid. Bear in mind that high or below will lose shadows. These settings are the presets, which will then change all of the finer settings below. Next thing is to reduce draw distance. If you click on your mini map, the gray triangle will show you the draw area, and if this is large, it will inevitably lag you out. The minimum draw distance is 32 meters. Reduced maximum complexity means that you can decide if you want to let those inconsiderate, high complex and high drama avatars ruin your performance. This will then turn avatars above that number into a solid colour. Reduced number of non-imposter avatars, here I've just put mine down to 12, which means that only the 12 nearest avatars will be fully drawn. The others won't have lighting or textures or anything else. Alternatively, if you're feeling antisocial, you could choose to make everybody disappear by clicking world and show friends only. That will significantly increase your frame rate but kind of takes the fun out of Second Life in my opinion, so I try and avoid doing that unless I'm filming. The other key setting here is advanced lighting model, so just untick this if your FPS is struggling. If you're still having problems, it's worth checking the lag meter to see if it's the server. Just click the menu bar and show lag meter. Or you can also hit Control, Shift and 1 to bring up the stats bar and look into your internet connection. At the time of this recording, Linden Labs are in the final stretch of migrating Second Life from physical servers to the cloud, which promises substantial performance improvements, so we're pretty excited to see that happen. Anyway, hope that was useful guys. Comment below if you have any other tips for boosting and upgrading Second Life performance. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep producing content for you all. Until next time, take care and see you soon.